Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So today's video we're going to be checking out Mr. Fantastic in Labyrinth of Legends and also how royally bugged he is. Now before anybody gets excited to jump into comment section and ask why am I posting this video, it's quite simply just too large of a bug for it not to go noticed uh, longer than a day or so and I've already seen people talking about it. But either way, so let's check out what's happening and it is glorious, it is so cool and it is so awesome. I've been actually having a lot of fun with Mr. Fantastic in Labyrinth of Legends because of this. Uh, so Start of the fight looks perfectly normal, right? We're just uh, getting to our level twos, uh, baiting out uh, the same special attack from our opponent, in this case, uh, Miss Marvel in Labyrinth of Legends. And uh, yeah, everything seems normal until you start to notice that the debuffs are starting to last pretty much exponentially longer. And uh, I tried my best to look out for why is it happening, but uh, I could not find anything, so. Maybe I missed something, uh, maybe this is uh, perfectly working as intended, but check out that parry stun length. And uh, it's only going to increase, and it's going to increase to pretty much comical proportions. And also that will, however, let you spam your special one attacks. Each special one attack places a bunch of debuffs if you have full uh, Fantastic Four synergy with you available. And uh, with that, there is going to be some really interesting interactions. Now, uh, we are dropping our level 3 to gain uh, that Fury. That Fury is also increased by each debuff on the opponent, so the more debuffs we have, the stronger is the Fury going to be. Uh, but at this point, we can already see that our debuffs are pretty much barely expiring, and whenever we are stunning uh, that Miss Marvel, that stun lasts pretty much for the duration of a full combo and more, or for duration of special animation. And it just keeps increasing. And with that, uh, basically, Basically, we are able to spam multiples of level 1s and uh, that, however, stacks the staggers up, it stacks the incinerates from full fantastic synergy with uh, Human Torch, it uh, stacks a bunch of stuff up and basically lets us how many debuffs. We can see that how long time ago we dropped our level 2 and that shock just now barely expired. Our parry is, yeah, lasting forever. And the more debuffs we have, the harder Mr. Fantastic hits. So first uh, part of the fight obviously wasn't like as impressive. He hasn't done that great of a damage. Uh, but as we're going to notice that the longer the fight goes, uh, pay attention to those uh, red numbers because Mr. Fantastic, full Fantastic for synergy uh, gives basically Mr. Fantastic kind of like a void-like ability where he does damage over time based on each debuff on opponent. Additionally, each debuff on opponent increases uh, Mr. Fantastic's uh, base attack, plus there is that Fury, and all of that is uh, calculated on his modified attack. So the more debuffs we can get on uh, Miss Marvel, the harder we are going to be hitting, the more damage over time effect we will have. And at this point, check out that uh, parry stun is just crazy. We're doing combo after combo, and she's still stunned. We managed to get our level 3 even before that stun expired. And now you could probably play this also without uh, dropping any level 3s, but I have sped the animation of level 3 uh, either way, so that doesn't seem like too big of a drag. But at this point, we are slapping her really hard. And yeah, we have obviously all of our pre-fight ability debuffs active. We can see that there are four staggers at this point, uh, three incinerates, uh, plus the heal block, plus the taunt, plus the weakness five staggers, and all of that is giving us quite a chunk in attack increase and also in our damage over time effects. So at this point, we're pretty much saying goodbye to our uh, level three fury. We don't really need it because we get attack increase for each debuff anyways. And uh, we can see how quickly she's melting away. So she's at 10% now at 250 hits. We're betting out at level two. Uh, wonderful, we're gonna drop our own level one here. We have five incinerates and they're lasting for absolutely forever there as well. And yeah, so seven uh, staggers, six incinerates and she just drops down pretty much immediately. So it's hard to think that this is intended. Might be, it might be. I might be missing something. 
but let's check out the finish here of the Electro fight. So we, uh, I did lose my combo in this fight. I believe I accidentally ate one level one. Uh, but on the bright side, uh, with this many debuffs on our opponent, uh, if we do a count, I think we would reach that we are all over 20, close to 30 debuffs on Electra. And we have over a 100% chance to evade all of the incoming attacks. Uh, so basically, she can't even touch us because uh, for each debuff on opponent, we have 5% chance to evade. And uh, yeah, if we get to 20 or more debuffs, we can evade every single attack that can launch at us. And here again, let's check out the finish of this old man Logan fight. And man, those crazy long stuns just make this work so well because while you're just pounding an opponent, he's barely gaining any power. And at the same time, you're just stacking up your debuffs, getting your furies and kind of dominating the entire fight. And it's just glorious. It's such a great amount of fun. Unfortunately, by no means, I think this will last in uh, MCOC because it's just too crazy, especially in Labyrinth. But either way, uh, that will do for today's video. Let me know, what do you guys think? Is this a bug? Nope. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to catch you guys soon. Don't forget to hit that like. See ya.